it smoking? This is a is it smoking special? We're gonna be popping seeds today with CEO for Space Packs, my brother Grant. So before we get into this, let's tell the audience why are we even doing this? Why are we what? Popping seeds? seeds, brother, and the seeds that we're popping because these aren't just regular seeds. I uh, long story short, I learned since I'm gonna you know put everybody on game, even though it should be common knowledge at this point. If you're in this game on a level of you know high, high, high elevation and competition, fun competition, friendly competition, because I'm only in competition with myself really. Um, <laughs> that when it comes to running facilities and genetics, it's better to, to run shit from seeds, period. Period. From my experience. Even when you have to deal with, when you pop a seed, you might end up with a male, which is a fucking headache, but we know how to deal with that. And I'm not going to lie, some of my, some top shit I found was from relationships from clones. So, but if you want to source from nurseries and keep trying to find, I don't know, man. This is what I do. And this is how we do it, baby. So let's get, what, what are we gonna start popping first? What's the first one we should pop? Okay, so long story short. Um, and each one, before we talk about it, we're gonna be talking about the genetics, what we're popping, and what we're hoping of it. Long story short, he said these are special seeds. Um, I had a pretty big size facility before. There was all these huge facilities. Um, turned a big facility into a pheno hunt when pheno hunting wasn't even cool. But I had to keep keep up with uh, the evolution of the game. Some of my, uh, you know, I did, you know, a twenty three light room got pollinated. It hit one of my top, hit one of my top keepers, and had massive seeds of that. And it was a special strain that was created. Um, long story short, I started popping those seeds, and take then I wanted to take a male of that strain because. Uh, it was a very special strain, and anything it hit, essentially, is going to make it better. So, I wanted to keep the lineage alive. I wanted to cross that special strain that was a, a, a costly accident. You know, close to six figures in revenues. Mm. You know, six figures, low key, but you know, hey, it was a good accident. It cost me the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Take it on the chain. You feel me? Hey, well shit, if these are the seeds that we come out with when you take one in the chin like that, I'm not mad because these are some game changing seeds, bro. Yeah, they're really Any company gets their hands on any of these seeds that we're just sampling from your Space Candy and Martian Fuel Gang. Astro Set. And Astro So basically, I, 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 I took a mail of a strand I made, which is crazy lineage, like verified crazy lineage from, you know. Everybody in the game, the leaders in this shit that are at the forefront of this shit that I had my hands on and this and that and was focused on at a certain time. And then I hit it with certain strains that I selected from a mass pheno hunt, whether it was from Vaxi, whether it was from a pack of a top reader shit, whether it was from a relationship from a clone, from somebody who was tapped in with this person or is that person. And yeah, so I pollinated the male that I created, I wouldn't call myself a breeder, right? no, you know what I mean, but. Hey, no, but you know enough to do what you had to do, bro. You know, You're not like the average CEO, man, and I think <laughs> that's why I take a like, super like liking towards you, bro, because you just don't run your operation from a beta office or from a penthouse location, which you low-key do, but <laughs> you do know the ins and outs of the game, and just the fact that you've been able to keep these genetics alive for the last 10, 20 years, gang, I bow my head down to you I, every time. I, I used to, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell myself and uh, make a joke that I really, really, really stand by, but I was keeping it, keeping it to the test. I call this shit, uh, you know, like blood diamonds? Yeah. Blood trees, you know what I mean? Because hey. like, the shit that I went through to keep these motherfuckers alive, like motherfuckers have no clue. No clue. Blood trees. Real, real, real movie shit. Don't be surprised. That like movie shit. Don't, don't, say, don't be surprised <laughs> if you see a movie directed hey, by Della Paz coming soon called Blood Trees. <laughs> Based on a true story, we already trademarked that shit. Let's get it, gang. So shit, let's get to popping, bro. Nah, but yeah, so um, let's start with, uh, 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 like I said, like he said, like I said, combination of what we said, um, the male. Special strain cost me eighty thousand revenues one month. Um, 
my top keeper in a 23 light room. You know, I turned a 200 lighter into a fucking female hunt. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, some males got slid in there. 23 light room got pollinated. A male from a top breeder actually ended up in the fucking room. And that strain actually was really, really good. I had a keeper of it, had really good structure, really good yield, perked out. People loved it. Certain brands were buying that shit regularly for their shit. And it was a blessing that if any male got in there, it was a strain like that. And then it hit my number one, number, yeah, my number one strain at the time. So I got season my number one female at the time, which was still probably my top three, with a male that was super fire from a top breeder, and then created this thing. And then I ran a couple females of that before I lost my spot, seen the females that were on point. Then fast forward, um, I was able to keep my top cuts alive, bring them into a legal facility, you know, start pheno hunting there. Um, in Atalanta? Yeah, Atalanta. Shout out to the homies over there. <laughs> you know, not giving out no names. <laughs> I mean, I would, but you know what I mean? Hey, we're keeping it pushing, man. This is part of the story. This is part of the legacy. So, uh, I do consulting. I do consulting. I do consulting. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> should we start with this one? What is this? Well, that is the Astrotech. Let's call it that. The Astrotech was, uh, a, you know, SR stands for, you know, the original, the original abbreviation for when we were funeral hunting, what it was. Um, we have five different Astrotech plants that were in the room. We had two males in that room. You know, we just, like I said, I'm not really a breeder. I'm not selecting males. I know the lineage of what was created was fire crossed with fire. And I know fire crossed with fire, and then I ran a couple females of it, and they were fire. Obviously, you're gonna find better expressions depending on how many seeds you bought. And then I hit it with the Astrotech, which was, you know, somebody gave me some seeds, told me it was this from this, one was a female, ended up being some very special strain that was, became my top shit, which damn near, damn near, uh, is running the game and it has every celebrity, everybody that's in the know constantly hitting you up for them ounces. Like, the, the, it, it does, the minute it gets cut down, we're basically already hitting your line smoking it, bro. It's honestly one, like, you know we got the Is It Smoking podcast and we smoke a lot of different genetics, man, and he has it, bro. He has one of the ones out there, man. If you're really up on game with what's going on in the weed game, man, you understand this is a... It's a race to the top, and it's a game of genetics. So, so, so ultimately, the, the Astro Tech, you know, bitch, yeah, the, the strain, the, the strain, the strain that is the male is just GP Galactic Pressure. There's females, a female of it coming soon. You'll see the finished flower of the female. Galactic Pressure, top three, Astro Tech. Galactic Pressure was a, a clone female with a a male that got slid in my two hundred ladder that pollinated. A 23 light room cost me, like I said, 80k in revenues that month. But luckily, it was all house money at the time. But and, and it was in 2000, a year that it was a lot easier to move that type of work, and the market hadn't crashed yet. Mm. But it still sucked, you know what I mean? And I was hot about it. But somebody was like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna be. It's a blessing down the road." And like low key, it actually became that. And I don't fuck with that person anymore because people are on some weird shit. But God always, God always looks out for you know. The real ones at the end, for whatever reason, for whatever reason. Um, but shout out to everybody. I got no all love on, you know, even the people who do shady shit. <laughs> but long story short, uh, the, the Galactic Pressure, my top female at the time, hit with a stupid fire keeper male of mine that had good character attributes to it. Then I decided to, when I popped the seeds of that, took the males, a couple of the males, Threw them, a little, threw them in a little spot and hit a couple of my top strains on my menu. One is the Astrotech, which came from a seed, not from a pack of seeds that I bought, you know, not from a bag seed that I got. Somebody gave me a few seeds, said this was this from that, da 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 da, which I was like, okay. And I popped it, there was three, one was a female. And then that shit slowly became like my favorite one and it's for sure in my top three. The Black Deep Pressure Female, the Astrotech, and the Space Candy were definitely like all like, 
jockeying for position in my top three, and then I had damn near at one point ten keepers at least, maybe more, and maybes and all that shit. But anyways, um, we hit the galactic pressure with Astrotech. We hit the galactic pressure with the Martian fuel, which came from a, you know, seeds from a top breeder in the game that like was probably some of the best lineage he put out, and I had a lot of keepers for him. And then, so I hit the Astro Tech, I hit the Martian Fuel with the Galactic Pressure, and then I decided for fun, to make it a little more exciting, to throw in just like, to make it easier, I threw, I, I popped some feminized seeds from just certain people's shit that I wanted to try, and I threw in, I, I, you know, the ones that I selected out of those, based on certain attributes that I liked, I decided to uh, bring here and us pop these seeds with that. So we got like what, t 25 seeds of the Astro Tech? There's like, uh, no, yeah, yeah, five seeds off five different plants. You know, you never know. There's a couple males in there. I open pollinated it. Maybe it'll be different expressions from the, from the different plants. And then uh, there was two strength, two, two females of the, the Martian fuel, which is, you know, some fire too. Um, and there was like 10 seeds of each of those. So there's 20 seeds of the, the, the Martian fuel, 25 seeds of the Astro Tech. And then I threw in like another 30 seeds, um, five seeds of six different plants. 10 of them, 10 of them as one strain, two, plant, two different phenos, five and five. Same with another one, and then there's five and five of another strain from the same breeder. And all these, all these ones, it's like you know, ten of them are from a from a breeder who plays high and you know certain things. I've been paying attention for a while, and it's like you know the top shit cross with the top shit on fucking paper. But until you you know run these people's gear, you don't really know what is what. Um, but they all got shit that if you spelled it out, it'd be like, oh, that sounds fire, oh, that sounds fire, oh, that sounds fire. And then I selected these, because I had some others that were not even popping based on certain attributes that just sounded good to me. And uh, yeah, my boy here, he fucks with the weed, he fucks with the genetics, and uh, was down for the cops. And we just harvested like 27 phenos in Adelanto of new shit that we created and new shit we pop from seed, and uh, this is just continuing, pushing, pushing the, the evolution of the of the plant, and, and the, the brand. brand, and the brand, and, and the, the brand. Yo, talk a little bit about when you first started with all this, bro. Like, what got you into going in so hard with the genetics and growing and like, cause. If you ask me, I feel like you were ahead of your time, knowing to secure these genetics back in the day when nobody was really even. Everybody and their mama now is doing what we're doing. You feel me? But back in the day, this was like rare techniques. Like, however you even knew was kind of like weird. You feel me? Um. Well, the long story short is I was I was running, you know, facilities when on 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 what was considered a commercial level when people weren't even in this game. People were scared to be in this game. You know what I mean? Yeah. And motherfuckers really really had to risk it to be in this game, and. I mean, just being in this game, being in LA, being from LA, being in certain positions by the grace of God and, and grinding, um, I had to make decisions at certain points, and there was times that the industry evolved and changed, and you know, OGs were running the market, and all of a sudden they're not, and your overheads fucking six figures want to operate, mm -hmm. and your margins change from eighteen to twenty-two down to a thousand, but there's you got to figure out how to innovate and stay at the forefront of the game. So I turned, you know, when that happened, when the OG market crashed, I fucking went on this mission to find the best genetics that were still getting the best numbers. And then through being from LA, being in certain industries, knowing certain people, I was able to acquire certain cuts, certain ways, and got addicted to popping seeds because I learned that getting clones from breeders not from breeders, from fucking clone sellers, you know what I mean? And it just it was it's not it. Yeah, and even but even Papa sees the same shit. You could get you could buy this. It says it's this cross with this from this person, and it ends up being something totally different. So it's like it's just kind of more calculated. But you still got to be able to know what the fuck you're doing and go through the motions to learn who got what and what's fire. 
And like I said, my best shit didn't even come from a pack of seeds I bought ever. I mean, I had some fire keepers from that, but not my top, 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 top. But some fire, fire, fire at the same time. But there's like, you know, when you pop like 100, you know, 100 packs of seeds, you, there's levels of fire, you know, but once you get that one, you're comparing everything to that one. Um, so yeah, I just kind of was in a position where I had infrastructure and I had to change with the industry or get left behind and I got, I got just really into genetics. I was like having the best weed. I was, you know, I had the best OGs out here. My shit ran like clockwork and then I always wanted to have the best weed so I tried to find the best genetics. So I already had the best SOPs, you know, at the time. And around what time was this? Oh, I mean... Like how long ago <laughs> did you say this was? I mean, I kind of said it in ways without like, kind of like... Dropping to it. Nah, you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't know. The fact, you know. Yeah, 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 I'm already, no, 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 I'm feeling it, I'm feeling um, it. No, nah, but, um... It was, it was all while it was legal and licensed and you yo, know, all, you, that, all that stuff. You know what I like, bro? That <laughs> is making me kind of like, like, kind of happy, which is pretty kind of cool. What you were doing back then is kind of low-key what we're doing, like, now. Like, again, because the the same way the market and the OG market crashed, it, in a sense right now, all these other candies and all these other flavors that aren't lemon cherry gelato crashed also. So right now, it's, it's, it's like, again, a race to the top with all these crazy-ass genetics. Yeah, so, um, like I said, I had to continue evolving, continue pushing, pushing to stay at the top. My top strains I found back then still hold weight and are at the top of the market now. And then based on all the fucking r and I did in the past, I was able to know enough to be able to continue to pop seeds and find what I'm looking for. And like I said, we just harvested 27 pinos. Um, some of that shit looks super fire. I know I've got a few new strains to add to the menu that will, you know, Coming to a store near you real soon. Yes, sir. Um, space Pack, Space Pack Genetics. You know. Yes, sir. LA's finest. The hate is real, but nobody <laughs> give a fuck. Nobody give a fuck. <laughs> Yo, bro, I was about to ask you, talk a little bit about that process, bro. As to getting your stores, your fucking brand in the fine, in the store, finally. Like, you're about to be in shops everywhere. Yeah, you know, like. Back in the day, if you didn't know or weren't, like, plugged in, you wasn't getting Space Pack. Honestly. Yeah. Till right now, it's still like that. It's just some ra- only the top of the top smoking rappers, like the small people in the industry that come directly to you to get it. So you feel me? Like it's about to hit stores, bro. The general population is about to be able to taste what we're fucking talking about. Yeah, man. It's just crazy. It was never really something I cared about. It was never really something I was into. Um, the game was never dependent upon it. It's just crazy how the industry's changed, and I just couldn't really let these corporate, I didn't even really want to start a brand, I thought that shit was lame and corny. Um, I was in a position where I had the infrastructure, and just like I had to go from OGs to find the best genetics, I had to start a brand for cost, and I was in a position to do it, and I wasn't gonna let these corporate people beat me in some shit when I was doing it before them. And there was a lot of curveballs and all kinds of stories in between, but I just knew as long as I kept my top cuts alive, and got into a legal facility that could streamline my shit. Everything was gonna do what it was gonna do. And then I would be able to pick up with the phenol hunting, popping the seeds. I started, like I said, crossing my own shit. And huh, I already got the reputation of relationships with, you know, all, all the people I need to, who, for whatever reason, like this weed. Because it doesn't matter what I say. It don't matter what I say. It don't matter what you say. But if this person, that person, that person, that person all say it, and this person used to own one of the top seed banks in the world, this person wrote a 500 page book on cultivation, that dude is one of the biggest artists in the world, and they all fucking seem to gravitate towards this, it must mean something. Because I mean, I'm not that cool. I know that. No, no, no I'm not cool, but he's I, not that cool, even, man. Even, even For real. Even if I was, I, I'm not. It don't even matter, you know what I mean? No, no, shit matters. no 100%, bro. The, the plant tops, you know? And the plant tops. The fact he's been able to keep this fucking strain alive and did everything he's did makes him fucking cool. So, so yeah, I didn't want to do that shit, but now we're here and the game went to where it was. And, and uh, it's exciting, it's exciting. Because, you know, there was a lot of 
a lot of treachery and a lot of crazy shit that could have took me out the game. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> not, not to not to bring light on that, but shit, talk a little bit about that. Explain, like, like, I mean, like what? Like, who knows? Like, what kind of treachery? What kind I of? I mean, life's unpredictable, like COVID, so anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, it's dope. We got dope packaging. We got new clothing company. I mean, new clothing coming. New packaging's dope. New clothing com- coming. Um, we got the license cultivation. Show. We got our own genetics. We got the new show. We harvested. We got the seeds we created with shit we created crossed with shit that we selected and found from seed <laughs> and uh you know we got so- stores uh stores uh ready to take our products and uh we're going to just keep going organically with the flow and uh see how it go and then you know ultimately we're going to scale and you know however the cookie crumble the cookie crumble 100 percent. shout out to everybody doing this shit Hell yeah! Any other shout outs or uh, anything else you want to drop before we uh, get up out um, of here? I still got a couple of pots, so you can feel me. I'm, I'm in it to win. Oh shit! I didn't even realize. I'm so caught up in nah, this talking because I know that's what everybody wants. Nah, to hear. Not everybody. No, nah. at least that's what you want to hear. And <laughs> trust me, the people I be hanging around with, this is exactly what they want to know. I, this, this is the stuff businessmen that are in this game want to hear. Like, they want to know how you got these seeds. They want to know that you are crossing them from seed. You're not going from clone. Like, they, they want to know your SOP has been yielding what it yields for the last 10, 15 years. You feel me? Like, come on, gang. Like, you know, we, we working. So, this is important. Yeah, they had the rust cut before everybody had that shit. You know, when it was 3,000 a pound wholesale turkey bag for the low. Um, I had C Junkie's top shit when nobody even knew who the fuck he was. Um, and uh, talk about the relationship and how you know these people. Like how did how did how did all that stuff even happen? You were just at the right place. No, right no, 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 I was just in this game when it wasn't even a cool thing to do, and I was just on it. Like I said, I was on it. I was on it, and, and, it, and that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. I was in a position where I was running an operation. And the operation had to be successful. Mm-hmm. And I just did, sure. did what I needed to do. And I was into it for whatever reason. But that's really, really what it is. Fire. Shit, any last shout outs? Any last uh, comments? Uh, any last things you want to talk about? Oh, wait, did we even. Because we talked about the AstroTech, but did we talk about the TSP and that? It's not TSP, but What's I'm it? glad you carried it. No, I'm just kidding. No, for real, what <laughs> that's, is that? That's, oh, that's, no, 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 the QS1. Look, I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. Those first four letters is the real lineage from my, of the galactic pressure. That other one, that's the Martian fuel. Those are just like codes, like the real genetics. Like, at the end of the day, I think it's not like it's a secret, but at the same time, like, you know. You're gonna go into an interrogation room and talk to the fucking police. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? So no, it's kind of no, like no, it's always good to have that. And talk about a little bit about that, like protecting your genetic, not really telling people the actual crosses. And stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, like this cross with this, a million people have this cross with this, and my most people don't even know if this cross with this is really that. Mm-hmm. But I'm just so like trained to just be how I am from just how life is that I just I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, I speak in tongues, I speak in tongues, you know? No, 100%. Depends on my trail, I don't think I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that does. Bro, you always gotta be a step ahead. Yeah. I respect that. Now, but yo. Yeah, gotta go to these couple bros, you know what I'm saying? And uh, chop it up with these people, see if they can fucking add value to anything I'm doing. No, nah, that ass, bro, and uh, thank you again for uh, break, breaking it down. Thank, no, you know, that th- insight. Th- thank you, thank you for uh, supporting what I'm doing, believing what I'm doing, uh-huh. being down to do this shit. Always, Because, you know, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of work popping seeds. It's and tedious it, work. It's a lot, not a lot of work. You know, it's, well, it's tedious to somebody like me. Right. Believe it or not. Yeah. It, but I care about, the vision is, the vision is so exciting, but the, the day-to-day is tedious, but the people who, there's people who love the plant, love growing, and they don't want to do what I do. Do you be on the forefront of this fucking shit and talk to people and deal with people and put their life on the line in that sense? They put their life on the line in other ways. Facts. You know what I mean? Spot gets hit. They're the ones who are there in the trenches. Facts. But at the end of the day, you know, 
people get that in, in churches other ways too, in the forefront. But um, not, you know, it's a lot of work. There's no guarantees. You could be, especially with the way the game is right now, you could be popping seeds. Bro, people are selling fire wholesale for how much? 1300 So, oh, well, wholesale? Uh, 900 800 Okay, so imagine you pop some shit and it ends up being some tr super trash. That, and that's literally what it is. All the back seeds that are out right now, please don't pop those. <laughs> it's not like back in the day when you found a back seed, you could like <laughs> bet your house on it, you know? Nowadays, you find some backseat, like, bro, you don't even know what you're smoking on, bro. So why, why do you want to do this? Because I love the plant, bro, and the only way to really secure my smoke, hey, I like that, secure the smoke, is by growing it, by crossing it myself, by doing the fucking tedious work, bro, and I'm so into the plant, I don't want to take nobody else's word for my high. But you can get seeds anywhere, you don't got to it for me. Nigga, but you have the best seeds in the fucking game, nigga. Um, but I, but Rappers are rapping about your Martian field, your Astro Tech, the like nigga, nah, nigga, I'm I'm right here. I'm with the winners all my life. Uh, I'm a winner, and uh, I hang around winners. I'm not about to go get a fucking seed from a fucking dispensary or a website. Fuck, I look like man. This this game is about relationships, and the only way to get to the top is by having a solid ass relationship. And yo, bro, you right in front of the camera, bro. That's all I did. I got my little bit of a 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 little yeah. But, uh, yeah. Right here, I got four. And I'm about to pop these and we're going to keep it rocking. Okay. But, uh, I'm so, excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, yo, let's put these in the closet because we got to keep them dark for 78 hours. What about these ones? Those I'm going to pop right now. Okay, okay. And okay. then you get ready because you got to head out to all these different facilities, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like you said. All right, man. I appreciate you. I'm going to do the tedious work while you go do the hard work. <laughs> go ahead.